Today we're going to be making a no sew dress. If you want to see how I do this, please keep on watching. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Silen. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button so you're notified whenever I post a new video. If you haven't seen my previous no sew projects, please click the link right here. Today we're going to be making a no sew dress. All you need for this no sew DIY is your chalk, scissors, measuring tape, and your fabric. The fabric I'm using for this DIY is not a solid fabric. This means that there is a clear distinction between the right side and the wrong side. You can see that the wrong side is different from the right side. However, this fabric is a self-finished fabric, meaning that it does not fray. Look at this, it doesn't fray. And this fabric is stretchy as well. If you wanna see how I make this dress, please keep on watching. I'm using um, one and a half inches for this DIY. So the first step is fold your fabric in half and that's what I'm doing now. Simply folding my fabric in half and just try to make sure that all your edges and all your sides are equal. And that's what I'm doing now. So having done that, the next step is, um, you know the side where you have the fold? Yeah, that's the part that's zoomed in right now. So from the top, I'm just measuring five inches downwards. And I'm going to mark that and then the next thing I'm doing is from that five inches mark I'm measuring six inches across so yeah six inches across from that five inches mark and I'm just placing a mark there as well From that six inches mark, I'm marking five and a half inches downwards. And that will serve as the length of my armhole. If your armhole, if your arm circumference is wider than mine, mine is 12 inches. If your arm circumference is wider than mine, then definitely increase that number to maybe six inches, seven inches. But remember that in my case, I'm using um, a stretchy fabric. Now this is the measurements I did. And I simply, I'm simply showing you on paper so it's easier for you to understand what I'm doing. And that part where I'm rolling on the paper, that part where I'm touching on the paper is the fold. Just to show you that um, I'm marking at the side where the fold is. So just going over the measurements again. Uh, from the top, I measured 5 inches. And then across, I measured 6 inches from that 5 inches mark. And then the next thing I'm measuring or well, the next thing I measured was um, from that mark five and a half inches downwards and like I said that was, that would serve as the length of my armhole you can make yours more than that now for the width of my armhole I'm you going to use three inches across now bear in mind that this is a stretchy fabric so it stretches and even if you make the measurements smaller than the actual measurements it's going to stretch and fit your body but my my arm circumference is um, 12 inches but if yours is more you could definitely use a higher number for your arm um, armhole length and your armhole width so what I did was simply make a hole at that center of that point at the center of the point <laughs> I just made a hole at that point uh, where I want to cut my armhole so from that hole I cut the I cut downwards to the bottom mark and then I also cut upwards as well and now I'm cutting a curve just to connect um, it and make a curve and then at the end of the day it gives me an oval shape and that forms my armhole so definitely try to understand your own measurements and know um, the um, the um, measurements you're going to use for your arm length and your armhole length and your armhole width it's very important to know your measurements so you can um, it doesn't your armhole is not too big or too small you know if it's too small it's even better because you can actually make it wider so that's what it is basically so I'm just going to show you guys how to make this wear this or how to style this to make it a cow neck dress 
so having put my arms through the armholes i'm just taking one um, edge and tuck, tucking it through um, the other armhole to the opposite armhole and once i've done that i'm making a knot with the fabric at that point once i make a knot a tight knot i'm just taking the excess fabric and tucking it under the fabric around my shoulder and now i'm just going to do the same thing for the other side so i'm taking the um, edge tucking it through the opposite armhole and making a knot taking the excess fabric and tucking it on the, the fabric around my shoulder so that's it guys if you enjoyed or you loved this video oh that's not it yet <laughs> i lied <laughs> okay i'm serious now i'm just taking a belt and finishing up the whole look and just making sure that everything is cute and that is about it now guys yeah that is it that is it we're done with this jacket is it a jacket no it's not a jacket it's a dress we're done with the dress yes okay okay i'm gonna go now but before i go please subscribe to my channel please subscribe you know you want to subscribe just do it come on just 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 subscribe man like it's free just in case you were wondering there's no like monthly payment or weekly it's not like itunes that you have to pay every month no subscribing to my channel is absolutely free like 0, 0.00 okay i'm gonna go now i'm talking so much bye guys love you bye <laughs>